Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on our Westbridge Hills map in my test game for my sixth video about course play. In this video, we're going to talk about the overloader mode. If you're new to course play and you missed the first five videos, you might want to go back and start from the beginning. There's a link in the description to my course play tutorial playlist. In the last video, we covered combine mode. Today, we're going to talk about another way to unload harvesters, which is the overloader mode. This mode is different from combine mode in that it also relies on a second vehicle sitting field side to unload into, as it won't go back to the farm and unload at the silos directly. In this example, we already have a semi setup in grain transport mode using the route we created in the third video in the series. We also already have the combine out working, so let's go ahead and get this tractor running in overloader mode. Alright, so once we're here at the edge of our field, we can see our trailer up there ahead of us and our combines over there waiting for us. So we're going to go ahead and start course recording. We want to make sure we get our three waypoints in. There's our third one. Now we're going to pull over here, and then we're going to try and get parallel with the truck. It's important to parallel the truck's path for a little while and not try and steer into the truck at the last minute. By doing this, we can get the auger over the truck and this tractor next to the truck without course play thinking that it's getting into uh, a traffic jam. It, it, if you steer in too quickly to the truck, uh, the tractor will think that the truck is traffic and it will block the course from playing. So now that we've got our tractor in position to offload, we want to put a wait point here. This is what will tell course play that this is where it needs to stop and wait while it unloads. And once it's fully unloaded, then it can continue driving the course. So then again, we're going to parallel just for a little bit, and then we're going to pull back into the field, and we want to give ourselves a couple waypoints in the field. I find it's handy to put in these slightly longer overloader courses like this. I've seen a lot of people do these where they only do just a handful of waypoints. Um, the, the two reasons being, like I said earlier, you're less likely to run into traffic problems with your semis. And with longer courses like this, you can actually set up multiple semis and multiple overloaders on one field and there's enough room for them to all sit behind each other and, and not cause any issues. So now that we've gotten far enough out here, we'll go ahead and hit stop. And then we're going to go ahead and save this course as overload. And then we're going to move the course into field 15. And then we want to go ahead and select the overloader mode. And just like we did on combine mode, we want to back up a little bit. This is a course that starts at the end as far as unloading the combine is concerned. So if we told this to start at the first waypoint, this would turn around, drive all the way back to the beginning, drive next to the truck, and then come back here before it would go over and empty our waiting combine. So we'll put this to nearest waypoint and then tell it to drive course. And then again, we'll come over here to our Manage Combine tab. You notice it's an automatic search. That's fine because we're in the field. So since we're in the same field as the combine, it'll automatically find it and it'll head over to it. It's gonna take us a couple loads to fill this horse up, and then it's gonna take a couple loads for the horse to fill up the semi. So I'm going to go ahead and just let the video record and I'm going to fast forward through it just so that you can get an understanding of how this works as a whole system together, all three pieces of equipment.
So that concludes the sixth video in my course play series. In the next video in this series, I'll cover the combine self unloading mode. If you're interested in trying out course play, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more farming simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.